I'm Cecilia Huber, and I'm a senior at Central High School. Oh, and this is Stuck in the Middle. Rebellious, obnoxious, mischievous, the middle child. What people don't know is how independence comes from negligence. Opinions speak through actions because our voices go unheard, and we demand to be heard. Middle children. We have part of the way paved for us, expected to follow the same narrow standards that have been already set, but we are still aren't favored and babied, given training wheels like the youngest. We're stuck between old and young, expectations and no responsibilities, obeying the rules of the road and trying to define our own. And we choose to grow up when we want to. We choose to follow our own responsibilities to create expectations for ourselves. We respect the rules but we still choose to journey through life on our own road, at our own pace. Middle children are independent, free, creative thinkers, making us seem rebellious, but we're only doing what we believe is beneficial for our own growth. We believe in justice and equality because we know what it's like to go without attention. Like when your parent doesn't pack your lunch in grade school because, oh, I assumed you wanted the hot lunch like your brothers. That lack of attention slows our wheels to a stop as our self-esteem and confidence get sidetracked from a rumbling, empty stomach. We become lost. Look to our left and see a town thriving in accomplishments. Look to our right and see a town of youthful laziness. Both towns are loved and respected without a question. Look ahead to an unfamiliar, barren road leading to a town that has not been reached in the far distance. With our dedication and perseverance, we can make it there but no one will follow to celebrate our hard work and success, except us. Of course, a road trip to this town calls for some snacks, especially since we skipped lunch. Oreos, anyone? The best part of an Oreo is the cream in the middle. At least we, the middle children, think so. <laughs> we pull apart the cookies to isolate our favorite part, but isolation isn't the proper conditions to build our road, and neither would being in charge of deciding what concrete to use. Many people don't like sitting in the middle of the back seat on a road trip. They'd rather lean against the window or drive the car. But we middle children feel safe and confident sitting between two people we have all our lives. The trip is long, and we may become impatient along the way, so we'll strike up a joke or a game to pass the time. But it's a shame our playful actions get mistaken for a troubled mind and an unimportant voice. <laughs>